history of combat, mobility has been a major factor in warfare. Today's ultra-modern United States Army includes the Sky Cavalry concept, a highly mobile force with crushing firepower capable of striking anywhere in the world within hours rather than weeks. Such mobility is possible only through the air. The Army now has fixed-wing and rotary-wing aircraft for tactical air mobility. These air mobile units flying within the concealment of ridge lines, ravines, wood lines, and other terrain features are provided the protection of obscurity, which has always made the ground the soldier's best friend. Precise target acquisition is necessary if maximum usage is to be made of today's tremendous firepower. Well-planned observation and surveillance are essential for both combat and logistics missions, many of which must be carried out at treetop level. Flying just above the nap of the earth, Sky Cavalry provides the enemy only a fleeting target, a target that can move fast in any direction. But such tactics are practical only with automatic, self-contained navigation systems that enable an aircraft to operate with flexibility over all types of terrain in any kind of weather. Reliance on visual navigation frequently limits the mission. If the target is hidden by fog or low clouds, the commander loses his air capability. A pilot finding his target obscured must select an alternate destination and determine its range and bearing accurately and quickly. Reliance on time-consuming manual computation reduces his effectiveness and impairs his safety. High winds and turbulence prevent accurate straight-line navigation with conventional methods. Automatic dead reckoning, based on estimated wind and true airspeed, eliminates some of the manual computation. However, errors in these estimates produce errors in the dead reckon position. Reliable navigation can be provided by radio where there is an extensive network of ground stations. But if this happens, these once peaceful areas become front lines of defense. In time of war or emergency, friendly as well as enemy radio stations undoubtedly will be silent but an automatic self-contained system functions independently of these ground stations. Continuous wave Doppler navigation systems function accurately anywhere over the globe, over deserts, over brush and tree-covered foothills, over rugged mountains, over the ice and snow of polar regions, over bodies of calm water or the roughest water and during operations at night. Also, navigation systems must have no minimum altitude limit. They must be adaptable to all speeds, from the forward speeds of conventional aircraft to the hovering requirements of DTOL and the negative speeds of helicopters. Furthermore, they must provide for crews to hover transition with pinpoint accuracy. Ryan Doppler navigation equipment meets these requirements. To make Doppler navigation practical, Ryan has engineered the necessary circuitry into these small, lightweight representative units. This equipment is proven and is in full-scale production. All of these navigation sets have certain characteristics in common. The most important of these is the utilization of pure continuous wave Doppler techniques. Pure CW has long been recognized as the most efficient and versatile approach to Doppler navigation. Contrasted with pulse Doppler or harmonic detection FMCW, pure CW does not exhibit altitude holes, insensitivity at high altitudes, or inadequate performance over smooth seas and deserts. Also, CW permits operation at zero altitude. The continuous wave energy generated by these sets is concentrated into narrow beams of radiation directed toward the terrain below. Energy is transmitted along each beam at frequency FT. 
The terrain reflects a portion of the energy back into the antenna at frequency FR. With beams directed aft, the frequency of the reflected energy is lower than the frequency of the transmitted energy because of the component of aircraft velocity relative to the ground in the direction of the beam axis. Due to the finite beam width, the frequency difference between FT and FR actually is a spectrum. It lies in the audio frequency band, and the center frequency of the spectrum is proportional to the aircraft's ground speed. The higher the aircraft speed, the greater the frequency difference. This frequency shift phenomenon is known as the Doppler effect. It is the basic principle used in Doppler ground velocity sets to measure the speed of an aircraft. With one beam, only one component of the aircraft's speed can be measured. But with two or more beams, it is possible to measure the aircraft's heading speed, drift speed, ground speed, and drift angle. Portions of this data are available for display to the pilot and for further processing in additional data displays. This ground velocity data provided by the Doppler set is the basic output from which actual geographical position may be determined. It can be directly integrated to provide ground miles, or it may be used in a navigational computer, along with true heading information, to determine the north, south, and east-west components of aircraft velocity. If desired, the north, south, and east-west speed data can be integrated automatically to obtain north, south, and east-west distances traveled. These, in turn, can be converted to the latitude and longitude coordinates of the aircraft's present position. Knowing the present position and desired destination, the best course and shortest distance to that destination can be computed automatically and displayed. For certain applications, the ground speed may be combined with true airspeed to determine the wind speed and wind heading. Accordingly, Doppler sets, which provide navigation without reference to wind data, actually permit automatic computation and display of wind speed and wind direction. The APN-129B was designed to meet the requirements of Army fixed-wing aircraft. The set weighs approximately 117 pounds and requires two and one-half cubic feet of space, not including the antenna. It measures ground speed with an error of less than 1% and drift angle with an error of less than half a degree. Its altitude range is from 0 to 25,000 feet. The set includes a ground velocity indicator group and an optional navigational computer group, which may be tied in as an accessory for complete navigational capability. Signal flow and data processing in the APN-129B can be demonstrated graphically. Its power supply provides high voltage to the Klystron transmitting tube. The signal generated by the Klystron is radiated by the antenna to the ground. Reflected energy is detected by the crystal mixers and fed to an amplifier assembly. The audio signals are amplified and supplied to a signal data converter which generates analog voltages proportional to the port and starboard velocity. These voltages are fed to a ground speed computer and resolved into voltages proportional to the heading and drift velocities. These outputs are available for tie-in with lightweight, accurate Ryan navigational computers and indicators or other computing equipment, thus providing a complete navigation system. In the APN-129B, heading and drift velocities are applied to a drift angle and ground speed indicator for electrical output and visual display. This indicator's output may be used for tie-in with radar mapping equipment and other surveillance sensors. A navigation set immediately available for use in Army rotary wing aircraft is the lightweight APN-130. It is a four-beam continuous wave Doppler production system capable of sensing and indicating helicopter speeds from minus 150 to plus 150 knots. The set's navigational accuracy permits errors of less than 2% to be achieved at altitudes up to at least 10,000 feet. 
This 70-pound system functions within the hover and negative modes of helicopter operation and permits smooth transition between these modes. A revolutionary new system which incorporates the APN-130 and APN-129B capabilities is the Ryanav-4. Ryan is pleased to premiere the most advanced universal Doppler navigation set yet devised. This lightweight, highly accurate, versatile system was developed for use in fixed and rotary wing aircraft, DTOL, STOL vehicles, and drones. This 2-watt, 58-pound set operates at altitude from zero to at least 25,000 feet with all the advantages of pure CW. Its accuracy is within one-half percent plus one-half knot. Like its predecessors, the Ryanav-4 employs continuous wave electromagnetic energy directed toward the Earth's surface in three narrow beams by a fixed mounted antenna. Its transmitting and receiving functions are separated to provide space duplexing. Like the APN-129B, it requires no adjustments and has no moving parts. A unique feature of the receiver transmitter is that it includes the Klystron, Klystron power supply, antennas, detectors, and Doppler amplifiers. The Doppler amplifiers and detectors form an integral assembly which eliminates cables and reduces the susceptibility to interference. Transistors are used to ensure high reliability. The system's unique design of Doppler processing circuits has permitted lightweight sub-miniature electronic packaging. Utilizing this technique, a signal data converter, a ground speed computer, and a navigational computer were combined into a single integrated package. This converter computer accepts Doppler signals from the amplifier and provides signal acquisition, frequency tracking, frequency to analog conversion, and data stabilization. Analog computers are included in this unit, which provide north-south and east-west distance travel. They also provide inputs of ground track, ground speed, wind velocity and direction, drift angle and true heading to a ground position computer and indicators. Certain inputs from this unit are fed to an air navigational indicator. This indicator displays ground speed to 365 knots, drift angle of plus or minus 180 degrees, wind speed from 0 to 100 knots, and wind direction from 0 to 360 degrees. The control indicator not only functions as a centralized control of the system's mode of operation, but it also contains a counter for setting in and displaying local variation. The bearing distance and track indicator provides a visual display of bearing and distance to destination and ground track of the aircraft. The navigation sets computer indicator provides a counter type display of north, south, and east, west distance travel. Also, it computes bearing and distance to destination, alternate destination, and base. Prior to takeoff, the aircraft destination and alternate destination in north, south, and east, west coordinates are set into this unit. During flight, present position counters provide continuous display of the aircraft's position. A convenient switch is provided for the selection of navigational information displayed to the pilot by indicators. The Doppler outputs from the Ryanav-4 may be tied into a plotter to give a pictorial identification of the aircraft's present position relative to a base or destination. Exemplifying this is a plotting board and a typical Army map with an overlay. A pilot may accurately fly any course and visually follow his aircraft's position and ground track. Upon completion of his mission, he may retrace this course back to his base. This all-weather and all-terrain capability could be of prime importance in those troubled areas of the world where corridor flying requires precise navigation. In rotary wing application, the Ryanav-4 provides a visual concept of local navigational status and an indication of aircraft velocities with reference to the ground.
Ryan Electronics now has and will have, in the immediate future, a variety of CW Doppler navigation sets to keep abreast of all United States Army requirements. For fixed-wing aircraft, the APN-129B was the first Doppler navigation set manufactured for the Army on a production basis. It is installed in the AO-1BF and the RL-23D fixed-wing aircraft. For rotary wing aircraft, the production APN-130 has been a proven navigation set since early 1960. It is currently being used by the U.S. Navy and is recommended for immediate use by the U.S. Army. For universal applications, including BTOL, STOL vehicles and drones, the Ryan Av-4 has incorporated a large number of design, circuit and packaging improvements with substantial weight reduction. This system will be available for service test during the calendar year 1961 and could be in production in 1962. There is a Ryan CW Doppler navigation system to meet every Army aviation requirement. The application of these sets furnishes a variety of information to photographic equipment, side-looking radar, and infrared sensors. It can also provide information to aircraft stabilization equipment and navigational computers. The CW Doppler operating range in rotary wing aircraft includes heading velocity of minus 50 to plus 350 knots, drift velocity from zero to plus or minus 100 knots, and drift angle of plus or minus 180 degrees. Provision also is made for the addition of an optional pictorial display. Another optional feature is an attachment which measures absolute altitude. This attachment enables the system to function simultaneously for navigation and altitude measurement without an additional transmitter. These versatile navigation sets feature a continuous readout range up to 1,000 miles and operate at vertical velocities up to 5,000 feet per minute. Their ability to operate with automatic stabilization equipment permits smooth transitions from cruising to hovering. The use of CW Doppler in drones makes it possible to correlate surveillance data with Army maps to an accuracy of approximately 1% of the distance traveled. By coupling the long-term accuracy characteristics of Doppler with the silent features of inertial, a Doppler inertial system may be provided. Airborne continuous wave Doppler navigation sets offer a significant increase in the Army's mission capability. The accuracy of these sophisticated systems improves the effectiveness of surveillance. Since the exact position of the reconnaissance aircraft is known, target positions can be located faster and more accurately. Ground units have the capability of precise air movement of troops and cargo in and around the battle area. Rotary wing aircraft can concentrate and pinpoint their firepower regardless of visibility. Other helicopters may spot deliver weapons, troops or supplies in instantaneous response to a commander's request. Medical evacuation units can expedite their life-saving missions with precision around the clock. Equipped with Ryan Doppler, air mobile units can be even more effective in the exploitation of combat power to achieve an objective. Ryan Electronics has the production sets and will continue to develop new flexible navigation systems to meet the operational and environmental requirements of the modern air mobile army and to provide revolutionary improved navigation for its new air vehicles flying just above the nap of the earth.